and another video from Dave. What's up YouTube? This is Dave's Head Enough White 7. This is another video to do with Star Wars Battlefront First Impressions on the PS4. Fucking awesome. <laughs> and another video from Dave. And yeah, it is finally here. You are looking at it. Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> exactly what I thought it'd be. Putting all these wolfies to rest <laughs> as RxL would say um, you know I'm almost tired of listening to most of these fucking crybabies about this game and the season pass the only reason half these motherfuckers are bitching and going on and still carrying on about that shit because they can get their way you know why they can get their way a great game was still released nothing they said stopped anything EA and DICE still, you know, did what was planned and delivered. <laughs> this game is fucking awesome. I mean, I believe it's nine different modes in the uh, multiplayer. The ones I played so far was Walker Assault, Blast, and uh, Heroes and Villains, which so far, oh, I played Drop Zone and Supremacy. Uh, Heroes and Villains uh, is by far my favorite uh, match type, which you'll see in this, uh, you know, video. That's the one that I recorded. It's just a blast. You get to play as Dark Vader, Luke Skywalker, and you know all the other ones. Pretty not everybody like Yoda and all them, but they'll probably add all them later on with the season pass. <laughs> but for what you get right now, it's fucking great. You know, do do I think it's you know right with season passes in general? No. But why does this game have to be any different from what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like. Why are all these other games getting a pass and this one's getting hell for having a season pass? You know what I'm saying? It, it don't make any sense to me. You know, last time Star Wars Battlefront came out, that was in 2005. We're in 2015. That was 10 fucking years ago, guys. You know, things have changed. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like the old ways too. I like how they used to do things back in the day where we used to get, you know, everything in a fucking game. But I'll tell you one thing, for what they give you in this game right now, is a lot better than most of what I've been seeing with games that you get on delivery, and then all the other shit you have to wait for with DLC. So day one, what they're giving you, is a fucking hell of a deal, in my opinion. You know, I've seen some dude, you know, that I respect in a way, but he says this game, you know, he'd pick it up when it's $10. You know, going on in a video about this game, he don't even fucking own it. I'm not saying his name because I'm not attacking him. You know, I like the dude. But I see a lot of people, it's not only him doing that, you got every, majority of the people that are bitching about this game don't even fucking own it. The people that did reviews, yeah, they played it, you know, but I've even saw a review by, you know, a dude that I respect, you know, but he just played the EA Access, you know, 10 hours, I guess they give it to you for like 10 hours or whatever, and he did a review off that. You can't review a game that you fucking played, you know, that didn't even really get fully into. You play this for 10 hours, you ain't fully into this game. You know, you haven't really experienced everything you should have experienced, you know, and give a fair review, in my opinion. That's my opinion. That's just me. You know, with single player, if the game was 10 hours for single player, that's a different story. But a multiplayer game, I believe you have to play it a little while before you you know, get the feel of everything. You know, and there's a decent amount of modes in this. You got, I think, nine uh, different modes in the regular, you know, multiplayer, and then you have the uh, training, battles, and survival. You know, you got that too. Training, I wouldn't count, but battles and survival. I think battles is like a one v one. You can play. I, I don't know if it's local play. I might be wrong on that, but I know you can play like your friend against, you know, friend against you, or maybe AI online. It's pretty cool. Um, from what I've seen, I didn't get to play that, but I've seen videos on it. Uh, didn't get to play it yet. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I played it for fucking eight hours, and I haven't even played the whole fucking game yet. So that's why I think it's funny when I see somebody did a review and played it for ten, ten hours with the EA Access, and gave a full review, and gave you know gave the game a six. Get the fuck out of here. You know, <laughs> this is that bullshit that uh, you know you see on fucking YouTube all the fucking time. But yeah, they got survival, which is, you know, like, I mean, I think it's waves of 15, you know, enemies, and they get harder as time goes on. I haven't played that yet. I only played it on the beta. 
what I played in the beta that I liked. I have not got into that. Last night I played a lot of Walker Assault and Blast. Um, and then today I messed around with uh, Supremacy and uh, Droid Run. And uh, well, I played last night too, Heroes and Villains. That's one I've been stuck on, and I played it today, and that's what you're seeing in this video. This is from today. Heroes and Villains is just awesome. I love it. I love that mode. Okay, let, let's get down to it now. Let's start. Let's talk about the graphics. The graphics of this game, I have to dethrone Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 had the best graphics this generation up until Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront just pushed that to side. Kind of how, like, you know, Holly Holm just fucking kicked Ronda Rousey in the head and pushed her to the side and <laughs> took everything she had. Well, Star Wars Battlefront, you know, pushes Battlefield 4 to the side. I still like Battlefield 4, but, you know, when it, I'm talking, I'm talking about graphics, guys. Graphic wise, it pushes it to the side. Graphically, Battlefield 4 was, you know, the game when it came to first person shooters that had the best graphics this generation. Right now, it's Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront fucking nails it. Sound in this game? Let's talk about sound. You actually feel like you're fucking in a Star Wars movie. Just like, you you know, when you look around in this game, you feel like you're actually in it. You know, you can, you get more... I mean, I have never felt this close to Star Wars when I'm playing the game like I'm actually in the fucking movie than this, in my opinion. So, fucking graphics and fucking sound, they nail it. And I do have to mention this. When I made my video about what version I should get, you know, I had guys saying, oh, you know, get the PlayStation 4 version because it's, you know, 900p, 720p is blurry. And I said this in my last video, so what the fuck? I'm still trying to figure this out. All the games that were, uh, you know, 900p on the Xbox that you all were bashing on that when the Xbox had 900p was, that was blurry. And now that you got 900p... What is it now? Is it still blurry or is it, or is it more clear because it's played on the PlayStation? Does the power of the greatness just clear that blurriness? <laughs> I, I had to ask that again. <laughs> but yeah, I did get the PS4 version. And I have to say, I want, the reason I went with the PS4 version, I've been buying a lot of games in the Xbox One. And this one, you know, in my opinion, Xbox One's version just wasn't offering anything extra, like an extra game or anything. And this was offering, you know, the better, you know, if it was anything better, it was the resolution. And they designed the game, you know, they made the game on the PlayStation, so I went with that. If they were offering me a game on Xbox, I would have went with the Xbox. Resolution's not that much of a big of a deal. I played both games on the beta, and they both look beautiful. So if you got the Xbox One version, you got a great version, just like the PS4. It don't matter, you know. But I just went with the PS4 because I have a lot of subs that got the PS4 version, and I want to play with you guys. You know, I like playing with you guys. I like live streaming. I like talking to you, dudes. You, you know, everybody's great, women and females. <laughs> you know, everybody's a fucking blast to talk to. That's why I love live streaming, and I got this game basically to play with my subs too. That's why I picked that version. You know, um, so yeah, pretty much. Uh, Graphics, uh, we talked about the sound, uh, gameplay wise, gameplay it's a blast, it's everything I thought it'd be, you know, um, I like the different guns, I'm glad that they actually did give you more guns, I was getting a little scared on the beta, I was like, ah, eh. I was like, there wasn't going to be that many guns, but it's actually a decent amount of guns, I like all the guns, the only thing I am upset with, you know, and I'm, and I'm honest, you guys, that's why you come to me, because I'm always honest, um, I'm not bullshitting you in this review. I'm not, you know, paid to say anything. These are my honest, you know, fucking opinions and thoughts. You know, I don't bullshit you guys. One thing I don't like about this game is I can't upgrade my weapons with different scopes and stuff. And that kind of sucks. So, from what I've seen, I don't know if you can. From, from where I'm at right now, I can't do that. So, I guess with the weapons you get, you can't really do nothing to them, and it, you know, it is what it is, it's kind of a little disappointing, but, you know, the guns overall are good guns, you know, they're, I love the, uh, hit detection on this game, it's pretty good, I mean, by far, probably one of the best out there right now, you know, I think it's fair, I don't feel most of the time, like most of the games I play when I'm shooting somebody, and I feel I got the shot first, and then some fucker turns around and just fucking nails me, in this game, I don't see that happen, you know, happen often, so I like that. And I love when you can, like, be Darth Vader and, he and Heroes vs. Villains and just fucking go after somebody with a lightsaber or Luke Skywalker. It's fucking awesome. So, yeah, um, gameplay is a blast. You know, they, they've nailed it. You know, I think they did a great job. Um, so, basically, when it boils down to it, I can't talk about a story. That's another thing I have to give this game. You know, there's no story. It is what it is. 
But, you know, back in the day when I played Star Wars Battlefront 2 and the other one, I never really experienced a story. All I remember was playing online with my friends, <laughs> you know, and playing the multiplayer. I didn't care about their little fucking, you know, story they had going on in this game because it, it, it didn't matter. That's why, you know what, they didn't need to put it in the game, in my opinion. It was, it was worthless. I didn't like it, in my opinion. I did not care for it. This is what I liked. The multiplayer. Some games, to me... You know, do what it does best. And in this game, it's the fucking multiplayer. You know, would have been cool if they would have made a story and all that? Yeah. Back in the day, though, I don't even remember the fucking story. You know, you know there was one, but I couldn't tell you what it is. And when I asked people, I said, okay, well, what was, what was so great about this story? They, they tell me you gotta, they got to go look it up on YouTube. If it's so great, you should be able to tell me right on the spot. You shouldn't have to go look at a fucking YouTube video. What I remember was playing, you know, multiplayer, which was a fucking blast, you know. And you got people going on about fucking space battles. Take your space battles and shove them up your fucking ass. Because <laughs> they're not in this game. I'm sorry, but I'm tired of hearing you whine about fucking space battles, you know. This game has a lot to offer. I'm sorry you don't offer fucking space battles. You can't have everything. I'm sorry. Maybe they'll add it in with the season pass. I bet you that would fucking piss you fucking wealthies off when you see that fucking season pass gets space battles. I'd fucking laugh my ass off. And you know what? You know what's funny about this whole season pass? There's still motherfuckers crying about the season pass. And they didn't even fucking buy the game. But they give you all this content right here, you know, and you don't have to pay for that. You know, you just got to pay the $60, nothing extra with all the fucking modes you get right here, and you're still crying. Nobody is forcing you to buy a season pass. They're not going to give you a fu everything free. There's other games. One game you guys should be praising is fucking Rainbow Six. I hear nobody talking about. Yeah, they took the single player of that, but they're giving you a, like pretty much free maps and everything, just like Halo's doing. But nobody's talking about that because I guess Star Wars isn't doing it. I mean, it's bullshit, you know. They're, EA ain't going to do it, you know. I mean, it is what it is. Get the fuck over it. But yeah, basically, great game. Everything I expected. I'm having a blast, you know. I'm tired of listening to people whine over and over. You know, after a while, it gets, it gets tired listening to people crying the fucking internet. You know, and then I heard, you know, some people say, oh, the truth is starting to come out about this game. What? That it's a fucking great game? <laughs> yeah, the truth is coming out. It's fucking fantastic. I mean, look at this game. I mean, you can't get no better than this right now. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, after them doing this, I'm, I'm looking forward to what's next because, you know, fucking EA's got a 10-year deal with them. So, yeah, you're going to get more Star Wars Battlefront games from EA. But it is what it is. That's my first impressions, guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section. More videos to come. Thank you, YouTube.